Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about signs and symptoms of infection. Uh, the reason this is important is because if you are on a biologic medication, one of the side effects and the things that we, one of the things that we are most on the lookout for is a serious infection. So in order to recognize infection, I thought I would give you some signs and symptoms of an infection so you would know if any of these things happened, it would be time to call the physician. The very first sign uh, of an infection is fever. Um, that's pretty obvious. Um, however, I think as adults, we tend not to have thermometers in our homes. If your children are grown, you probably don't really need to think you need a thermometer anymore. But I would encourage people to get a thermometer um, because one of the first questions we're going to ask you when you call the office is do you have a fever? So that would be important to know. Um, another sign of an infection could be chills and sweats. Um, that horrible feeling that you cannot get warm and then the sudden breaking of, of the fever or the horrible uh, feeling of sweating and feeling that clammy feeling. Um, another sign would be a change in a cough or the development of a cough. Uh, you would want to take note of that. A sore throat. Um, all of these may not necessarily mean infection, but again, they wor they're worth checking out. Any shortness of breath, uh, please make note of that. A stiff neck, uh, congestion, nasal congestion, um, burning or pain with urination, or frequency of urination. That could be a sign of a urinary tract infection. And again, we would want to make sure that that was treated. If you have any type of unusual discharge, uh, this could be vaginal discharge, uh, discharge from, from your eye, anywhere else, um, please make sure we know about that. Uh, if you have a cut that has some redness, soreness, um, warmth in the area, that would be important to take note of. Um, and certainly if you would see any pus or smell a foul odor from a cut, that would be important. Um, diarrhea and vomiting may generally be viral, but again, it's worth noting and giving us a call. Um, and lastly, I would, re I would um, mention shingles. Um, shingles, uh, while not an infection, it is a viral um, uh, type infection, um, and we would wanna know about that too. Um, all of these uh, signs and symptoms, please take note and consider giving us a call as soon as you develop any of these signs and symptoms so that we can address possible infection. Thank you.